But copay is what you pay when you go see a doctor, for example. And that's a fixed amount, like $10, $20. And so you can see what that is. You should also ask for a summary of benefits. That's just like a list of with this plan, if I go see a doctor, this is how much I'll pay, right? Because sometimes in a phone call, you'll forget what we tell you, right? So at least you have something in writing. A copay is at a fixed amount to go see a doctor, to go for an x-ray, for certain things, right? And then your deductible. Your deductible is like in a car insurance. If you crash your car, you pay the deductible and then the other part, the insurance for cars. For humans, it's, it's pretty similar, right? So the deductible would be, let's say you have a deductible of $5,000, what that means is that for certain things like an MRI or a hospital stay, so something major, right, you would be responsible for the first $5,000 and then after that the insurance company starts paying. So it's basically what you're responsible first before the insurance company pays. But it's really for major things, not for like a doctor visit or labs unless it says it but for the most part okay and then your out-of-pocket that's really the most important number it's called maximum out-of-pocket and that's the most you'll pay a year between everything so between the co-pays and your deductible the most you'll pay is your maximum out-of-pocket let's as an example let's say it's seven thousand that's the most you'll pay between everything okay and that's regardless of what happens to you Correct. Whether it be something catastrophic like heart attack, cancer, uh, whatever, an accident, right? Food poisoning, <laughs> whatever it might be, that's the most you'll pay. It doesn't mean that you have to pay that amount. It's just going back to insurance is protecting your pocket. You're protecting your pocket that you won't spend more than that for medical services in a year. 